what is going on everybody so i know this is kind of a um a different game i guess you can say um well, i mean it's not different it's just something i haven't brought to the channel before and this is fallout shelter but on mobile and um eh, it's probably gonna be laggy and choppy but eh, not too bad for now now i know i haven't updated or uploaded in a while and um I do want to apologize for that, um, but it's just, it's been, I've been busy and working on things and, you know, working on the new RP group, SAPS, which I will leave a link down below to the website. We are going to be starting training this weekend and getting some people in so that way they can go ahead and have some fun and uh, kind of close the, the waiting gap for everything. So let's go ahead and start getting um, everything started here. We need a... Living quarters. Max we're going to need is like two. So I think we'll throw that down here. Um, your most important resource is power. The more rooms you build, the more power you need. If your power gauge turns red, room starts shutting down. A shutdown room goes dark and won't produce resources. Hint, rebalance your power by assigning to better dwellers or rushing the power rooms. Alrighty, got you. Alrighty, let's go ahead and build a power generator. Now we'll go ahead and do this one over here. Now let's see what we got here. He's got strength, so we'll go ahead and click on him. Drag him over here. Oh, hey, we got a little thing down here. Helpful hint. Upgrade your production rooms to produce more resources. Tap the arrow icon in the upper right corner to upgrade a room. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, now we got him in here. Let's go ahead and um, come over here and check our little things. Ooh, we can win the lunchbox. Successfully rush one room. We also got to assign two dwellers to the right room and send one dweller to the wasteland. The wasteland, stuff like that, we'll worry about later until we have like a better person or a legendary guy that we can make our own. Um, perception. Let's go ahead and build a water treatment plant because that takes the perception. Now we'll take her and move her there. Awesome. Now we go ahead and get... Oh, wait. Your vault needs a steady supply of power, food, and water to run properly. If you run low on any of these resources, the bars at the top of the screen will turn red. When low on power, rooms will start shutting down. When low on food, dwellers start lo to lose health. Now when low on water, dwellers become irradiated. The required resource line on the resources bar shows your vault's current resources. Resource needs. Hint, the further above or below the required resource line your resources are, the greater the effect. Alrighty, thank you for teaching me that. Alright, awesome, we get 25 uh, bottle caps. Let's go check out the new one we got here, level up one dweller. Now I think what we're going to do for the most part is we're going to kind of just collect all the lunch boxes we can until we start getting a bunch of, uh, the, all of our rest start becoming bottle caps or we're desperate for something. Helpful hint. Merged rooms can hold more dwellers so they produce more resources. Alright, let's see what this dude's got. This dude's got charisma, so you know what? We'll go ahead and throw him in. We'll go throw him in there. Male and female dwellers within the living quarters have a chance of making babies. Ooh. What does she got? She's kind of got a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, too. Definitely agility. Whoa, no. Don't know where you got that from. Let's go ahead and move you in here. What she got? She's got strength. Where do I keep hitting this? Alrighty. Build additional storage rooms or upgrade your existing storage room to get more space. Oh, to get more space. My apologies. Now we need to go ahead and build a diner as well. We can't starve our people. I mean, we could, but that wouldn't be... This dude's, like, agility steroids. We'll go ahead and move him in here. And which one's got higher agility? Oh, sorry, you're going to hear some dog barking. Alrighty, sorry about that. I just wanted to, you know, 
mute it, and then we'll go ahead and throw her in here. I mean, we don't really... You just use the last available space for dwellers in the vault. Build more living quarters to accommodate more dwellers. Alrighty. We can do that. Let's go ahead and over to living quarters. Build. We'll make it one bigger. Oh, we got plus one more dweller. She's got... Oh, let's go ahead and click power and water. Um, saying is we really don't have a space for it right now. Well, yep, yeah, it's the only place she actually fits. So let's go ahead and throw her in the living quarters for now until we can figure out something else to do with our lives. Let's go ahead and check these, see what we can do. Successfully rush one room. Alrighty. I'm a little low on food. Let's hope for the best. Cross our fingers. Awesome. You need more dwellers for your vault. Try signing dwellers to the living quarters and see if magic happens. Now the leveling up a dweller kind of uh, takes a hot minute because I mean you gotta let things go collect 50 food we can go ahead and do that I want to rush him again so that's eight um do we have enough to build another diner we do what's this lady doing uh-oh uh-oh hopefully we can rush these dudes and hope to God that they get it done right. Nope, they failed it. Why wouldn't they? Alright. Disasters occur when a rush fails or randomly in any room. Dwellers in the room automatically fight the disaster. Dwellers lose health while fighting a disaster. If dwellers fail, the disaster spreads to the nearby rooms. Hint, drag dwellers into and out of rooms affected by the disaster to keep them alive. Well, crap, we're a little low on power, and I don't want our, you know, buildings and stuff to shut down. It costs 250. Oh, there goes our food. Well, I say we hope for the best and see if we can open one of these, and it gives us some power or some money so we can upgrade this. And we got some yarn. Saved our behind right there. Ooh. Plasma pistol. That is fancy right there. Alrighty, we'll keep that for safekeeping. Hopefully if we get a better person or something like that that we can actually make. Um, technically be my own custom character, but, you know, our custom character that we sent out to the wastelands. And do some, uh, you know, missions and whatnot with them. Got 100 caps. 500 caps. Woohoo. Hitting the bank a little bit. Level up one dweller. Let's go ahead and open this one too. Why not? Ooh, got a lever action rifle. That's pretty good. Pretty good. 100 caps. Mm, stim pack. Not too bad. <gasps> and it's scrap. I always get like so excited when I see those stuff. And it's like, oh, it's just junk. You know, you can't really use it for much. And a swing dress. This is legit everything I got in my other game. Swing dress is agility, so you know what, we'll... Throw it on that person. Oh, we got a person right here. Intelligence. Well, ma'am, we don't have... We can throw her in there for now until we can build a med bay. Alright, let's go ahead and level up this. There. That helps us out quite a bit. Have we collected any food yet? Nope. Um, equipped one dweller with a weapon. We can go ahead and easily surpass that dude looks like a 
weirdo. So does he. I find the right dude for a weapon. Um, but seeing as he's the closest, we'll give him the lever, ac lever action rifle because I don't really want to give him, you know, like I said, we're going to keep that one dude or that one gun for, you know, collect 100 power, send a dweller to the wasteland. Um, oh, I don't want to go ahead and skip that because I mean, it's 25 extra coins. We'll go ahead and skip that anyways. Successfully rush one room. Um, really hurting on food right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can rush the diner. Hopefully they've, uh, success. Awesome. Get another one of these fancy things. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. See what we get inside. We get a microscope. Caps. <sighs> you could call a quantum. That's not bad. That stuff is actually really useful. Pressurized flamer. That is awesome. That is honest to God really cool. Just only if we, you know we had that legendary character. Build two or the three build two or three of the same type of next room next to each other. Other will merge to each other will merge them into a bigger version of the room. Got another dweller coming up here. What does he got? He's got perception. P levels like through the freaking roof, but I mean, look at that perception. But it says we give them zero. I mean, if we don't, let me go ahead and I'm gonna keep the room small for now, so we're not really. Let's see if nope. It says that's what he's really good at, but we'll we'll throw him in there anyways. I mean, that's what it says he's really good at, so. Um, collect 50 water. That's one of those bad, bad boys. Collect 100 power. Let's go ahead and check out our achievements and see what we can get in there. For the lever load. Awesome. Merge and day. Oh, never mind. This would already be my stuff that I've gotten in other games. Um... Yeah, there's not really a whole lot, you know, this game, once you first start off, it's not so bad. But it's it's slow paced for, you know, slow paced for anybody that hasn't played it really. So one weapon or outfit. We have a weapon or outfit we can sell. Here you can see and manage all the weapons and outfits you currently own. 32 pistol, don't really need it. 10 books, eh, not too bad. So we'll see what that one replaced it with. Collect 100 food, collect 50 water. Alrighty. We're basically just stuck with collecting a bunch of stuff now. So, uh, yeah, that's really it. Where are we at right now for timing? 182 minutes, 13 minutes. Not doing too bad on the score, but, um, alrighty. We can, uh, continue for a little bit longer. I want to make these about 20 minutes to give you guys something to watch and, you know, um, Right now it's actually moving decently fast paced. She's got agility like no other. I'll go ahead and throw her. Whoa. Nope. Don't want you to do that. Let's go ahead and move her. Room unlocked. Let's go ahead and check that out. Storage room. Not really sure we need that right now, but... Do we have somebody with really good endurance? No, didn't think so. Oh. Oh. Well then. Let the magic be made, folks. Let the magic be made. Collect a hundred food. Uh-uh, that's a lot of... Hmm, 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 Collect 50 water. Let's see if we can go ahead and rush them, guys. Bet you they're going to fail. 
Bet you a hundred bucks. No. Let's see, let's see if we can. See if we can just uh. Up oh, seven hundred and fifty to upgrade it again. What's she doing? Um. I will just throw in the charisma room right now. So she, you know, this. Not just. And she can walk around. I don't care. Come on. I need one of them stylus pens. Um, power. We're getting. Happens. What would we do if we upgrade it? If we upgrade it, it, we'd be only be getting about twelve extra power. So I mean, it's not really a point or ten extra water. Let's see if we can get lucky and rush it one more time. One more time. Awesome. We're up to 38 out of 50. And let the production run itself. Do we have another one that we can get? Oh, yeah. Collect 50 water. Collect 300. Or, yeah, 300 food. That's quite a quite a um, uh, jump there. I think we're going to have the Overseer. I want to build this so that way... Rebuild it eventually, so that way um, your uh, overseer room would run right next to this. So if there's a way possible for me, I'm going to delete this, run an overseer room right across here. And then I'm going to start running another elevator system down and whatnot all next to this. And hopefully try my best to rerun the whole thing. Um, collect 50 water. How long does it take for us to 39 seconds? It should buff us up to 48 water, and then we can see if we can rush it again. What do we got on this timer right here? Nope, not the person. 40 seconds left on this one. 22 looks like them folks right there dancing and having a blast and be pumping out babies like jesus christ um eight more seconds till we can collect the water on that and then we should be good all righty i say take our luck and try and ru uh, rush it. I bet it's going to fail. Yup. And I called it. So, um... <laughs> oh, Rad Roach Infestation. I'll give this dude the plasma pistol for now. That dude seems... Uh, decently cool. I don't know. But, guess what? I'm going to take my gun back. <laughs> Not to be that guy, but I don't want everybody else... Uh, <laughs> Little low-level dwellers using guns that I don't know. I don't think they can handle very well. Oh, they are getting busy again. This dude just popping them off like a uh, trail horse. All right. Oh, we got to level up. Cool beans. Um. We have 12 out of 18 available dwellers. Alrighty. Fancy, fancy. Um, now I want to go on the topic again of SAPS. Like I said, training. Hopefully we're going to start uh, most of it this weekend. Um, it won't be in-game training, though. It'll just be a huge discussion classroom type training. Um, once I'm available to come in and actually... Um, you know, play with the players and whatnot. I'm actually going to go through a whole, re, you know, reset of uh, training with all everybody, make sure everybody's got the whole ordeal of everything. And I, you know, I just want to get the whole idea of how everybody's running and how everybody works. And, 
you know, just kind of get everybody in so they can enjoy it and stop with the wait. And so if you want to go ahead and be a part of that, you can go ahead and go down below in the description, click on the link to our website and go and apply today. And um, you'll get your fulfill of training this weekend, hopefully. And um, no promises, no promises. And uh, you guys can go ahead and play with the SAPS group. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open this box. So excited. Probably going to get absolutely nothing worth our while. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Person, person, person. No, just duct tape. I want a person. Food. And caps. I want a person. I don't want all this crap. But anyways, let's go see what I got replaced with. Equip one dweller with an outfit. Well, let's go ahead and do our inventory real quick and see what we got for an outfit. It'd be charisma and intelligence. Let's slap this dude with that because, I mean, he's obviously working the charisma life, you know. We'll go ahead and open this. Hopefully we get somebody. Hopefully we get a person. Radiation suit. <gasps> Giddy up buttercup. Like we totally needed one. Ooh, Martha Turn. Intelligence, agility, luck, strength, special, and endurance. Really need to get a med bay going, folks, because, I mean, 90 out of 100 food. Um, med bay, get 14 dwellers in your vault. All right, we're going to replace that dude with her because, I mean, it's going to make production work a lot faster. And then we're going to give this dude a radiation, that radiation too, because, I mean, it buffs up the perception. So, um, we, I know we just have a lot of uh, random people running around. 22 minutes and 23 seconds. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end that right here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.